I am absolutely shook, even though this was very expected. And that is how everything in the Brown family is starting to fall apart before our very eyes. First, we had Christine Brown confirming her split from Cody Brown last year. Now we have Janelle Brown confirming her split from Cody on the one-on-one -on -one sister wife special. We then had Mary Brown confirming that her and Cody are no longer together, which I truly thought that Mary was going to hang on to Cody for dear life with things that she has said in the past about how they all made a commitment to each other but I guess for her it was the final straw when Cody said that she could go off and find another man. Now, in the beginning of the new Sister Wives season Mary Brown actually made a comment about how she was really mad that Christine was leaving the family and that they had made a commitment and she seemed very upset that Christine wasn't going to stick it out. It makes me angry. You know when I married Cody when Janelle married Cody when Christine married Cody, when Robin married Cody, each one of us made a commitment to each other, like to all of us, you know, that we would love each other, that we would respect each other, that we would stick through it thick and thin and we would work these things out. Come on, you guys, can we all just get our heads out of our butts? In hearing that, I am even more convinced, which I already was, Christine made the right decision because not only was she in an awful marriage with Cody where he treated her like garbage, we will be talking about some of those new things in a moment, but she also had sister wives like Mary who would rather her stay in a marriage where she's miserable and depressed and treated terribly with somebody that doesn't even find her attractive or like her, then supporting her and going off and finding a life that makes her happy and in wanting her to be happy. You were so miserable in this relationship that you were speaking to somebody else romantically. There is a reason why Christine left. And I have such an issue with the fact that after Mary had her cheating scandal with Cody Brown and all of that stuff had happened, that they ended up blaming Christine for being the reason why they didn't end up working things out. I was no longer angry with her for what I had gone through in my life with her. I was willing to see the error of my ways and then work to determine whether we were good with each other anymore. Oh. And so my other three best friends, I expressed that, ah, baby, it's okay. Mary and I could work it out maybe. You know, I mean, like I'm going like that with these three women and it just rattles Christine. Do you know that there was an anniversary where you made Rice Krispie treats for every year that you guys were married? Yeah, that was And it was last a simple year. token. Yeah. He kind of mentioned that there was a family get together and that Christine found out about it and Christine balked at a reconciliation and that made him sort of reconsider. I, I don't know what you're talking about. She balked at a reconciliation with you. me and, yeah. me and Cody? Yeah that she couldn't, she doesn't want that, she couldn't deal with that. I never knew about that moment with him, and I never knew about the moment with Christine until you just told me. But if you listen to what Mary is saying happened on the day of their anniversary, it doesn't line up because Cody was very clearly not interested in working anything out with her at all. There was a moment there where he was so open to reconciling with you. That is also the same day that he was like, you know, we went out on a picnic and he was saying, no, you're supposed to have been courting me. I said, Cody, I've been waiting for you. He's like, I'm not coming. I put my arms around him, up around his neck, and I said, what'd you do if I just kissed you right now? He was physically aboard and he was backing up. But in this interview, he claims that the reason why they didn't work things out was because Christine didn't want them to work things out. And then Robin says that she thinks the reason why they didn't is because of Christine. Oh, he told you. He told me. <laughs> okay. He said Christine uh, had a very hard time with it. Yeah. And did not want Mary to reconcile with Cody. That's what I was told. She was at my house and she was falling apart. I feel so bad. I don't want to talk bad about her, but I just saw her kind of flipping out and I didn't know what it was about. Do you think if Christine didn't object that Mary and Cody would have gotten back together? They would have reconciled and they would have had a little bit more of a relationship? Uh, yeah. Because when Cody says and thinks that type of stuff, it usually happens. I think that that is ridiculous to put the blame on Christine for Cody and Mary's relationship falling apart. It's really absolutely frustrating and offensive right now. There's no way I would not support him and Mary having a great relationship if that's what they both wanted. But I've Robin all... also says that she walked into the tail end of that conversation. I think that there was something that was twisted in that there's no way I would have ever felt like that. I don't feel like that. That's a lie, that's not me. 
and I would never do that. Never heard this out of his mouth. I've never heard this out of Christine's mouth. Cody and Mary had issues with or without Christine. Christine was not their issues. And if anything, if Christine didn't want them to work things out, I stand with her on that because they obviously had really big issues that were being tucked under the rug and nobody was doing anything about it. And if anybody in this family wanted their polygamous situation to be as healthy as it possibly could be, then they would want all of the marriages to be healthy relationships. Cody and Mary were not. This just solidifies it to me that Christine was in a family where she was not loved and supported by probably anybody but Janelle. I feel like if her sister wives were supportive, that they would want her to go seek a better life. They would want Janelle to go seek a better life. They wouldn't want them to stay in a relationship with Cody that they know is miserable. And now Robin is the last one standing in this relationship, which I'm gonna be talking a little bit about how my feelings about her have changed a little further on into this video, but she is the last one standing and she obviously didn't want anybody to leave and wasn't supportive of their decision either. They always talk about how polygamy is like this, you know, you get so much more family and support and love and blah, 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 but then it just looks like it's just more people to treat you like crap and not care about you, honestly. It's extremely concerning the way that Cody is yelling at Christine in this clip and gaslighting her. She's treated you like dirt from the very beginning. That's, That's the relationship you have with her. You never tried to have really good relationship with these other people. Just I did. vomiting out of me because I've sat here with it just like Christine, try and do this. Man, just the knife in the kidneys over all these years. Sacrifices that I made to love you, wasted. And you are running away rather than being accountable. I didn't mean to. Oh God. And you admitted to it and you couldn't correct it. And now we're sitting here with a broken family over it. I'm just imagining what it must have been like to be in a marriage with him and him be doing this behind closed doors and it's just you and the other wives aren't there and there's no cameras. It's interesting to me how all four wives are just sitting here silently watching him throw this tantrum and you can tell that this is something that they've but seen many times before and they know that they're not going to be able to speak. They all look a little bit scared in this clip. I mean, let me know what you guys think down below but to me it looks like they're like we need to be quiet because Cody's really mad. It's really scary and extremely manipulative like he's yelling at Christine about how this entire thing is her fault. When Robin came into the picture she was struggling because she was pregnant. She was pregnant with Truly and she didn't have any help with Cody. Her husband was off you know getting ready to marry a new woman. He was living his best life. She's sitting there struggling through a pregnancy feeling like she had no support. It's scary to see see him so aggressively putting the blame on her for their relationship falling apart when he wouldn't even be intimate with her. He wouldn't even go over there and spend time with them as a family. Like, let's just talk about it for what it is, whether you agree to sign up to be in a plural marriage or not, watching somebody you love get with somebody else is gonna be hard. At the very least, if they were going to be in a plural marriage, they could at least have a husband who would, who would try to be understanding. To have him say that the problem is that she wouldn't be nice to the new wife, maybe you should have worked on being a better husband to the wives you already had, and then maybe none of this would have happened. So in the first episode of the newest season of Sister Wives, Christine and Cody are having a conversation where Cody just goes on saying things that are just so offensive, and every time I hear him speak, I'm like, will you just stop? I don't have time to play like she has time to play. I got a lot of work to do and a lot of responsibilities. I don't get this. You don't show up here and stuff like that. It's like, what are, what are you doing all day? It's certain not cooking and cleaning because then I, I Listen, there's nothing to say here. Stop while you're ahead or like, have you ever heard of like how you shouldn't say everything that you think? And I have some comments about this, not only about how terrible it is, but I have just some things to say because Cody Brown actually said that he was never attracted to Christine and that he didn't actually want to marry her and that he felt forced into the marriage. We can unravel this farther because it's true that I wasn't attracted to you when we got married. I felt pressured into the marriage. I, I did not know better okay. at the time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? He didn't know better? So did he marry me out of an obligation? You know, our church doesn't have the whole arranged marriages, but it sounds to me that he felt like he had to marry me. That's so 
sad. And now that Christine is leaving him and taking Truly to go live in Utah, he wants Truly to stay. What did you expect marrying somebody that you did not love, was not attracted to, and did not want to be with? He put this entire family in the turmoil that they're in by making this decision. You should never marry somebody that you don't love or don't want to be with. It's disgusting. The fact that he thinks that he can marry her, have children with her, and then her just be forced to stay there in this awful situation and live there with no no support so that he can see truly no you literally married somebody and had children with somebody that you didn't even like who does that if cody wants to continue living a polygamous lifestyle after all of his wives but robin have left him i hope every woman stares very clear of cody because how is any of them gonna know that he actually married them because he loved them or liked them whenever he treated people that he married and had children with like this i also need to bring attention to this clip from sister wives where he was talking about his biggest concern and worry about christine leaving and it wasn't that he was losing a wife that he loved and losing children that he loved. He was worried that she's going to find another man that will come at him for his money. You take Truly and you go to Utah. You get a boyfriend who wants some of our money. And between you, your boyfriend, and the state of Utah, I lose any access to Truly and all my money because I've seen it happen to many, many people. I mean, we have already heard horrible comments that he's made about Christine. I did another video about this where, you know, he said that he was just disgusted by her because she was eating food. Christine may have been the wife that saved the bacon, but watching her eat a plate of nachos nearly doused Cody's growing affection for her. Cody, there was a chili nacho cheese incident that nearly <laughs> derailed this courtship. I know, he was that, so silly. Did you How even realize that? Pull down that, any relationship, please. <laughs> Me wolfing down nachos, come on. Cody wrote, Christine was the cutest girl in the world, although she was a little chubby. I was pretty chubby. But does size matter to you, Cody? I mean, were you grossed out no. by, you I said she was chubby no. and she was eating the che nacho cheese? I will be honest, I was not attracted to Christine in any kind of physical sense. I mean, I look back in retrospect and I wonder, was that fair? But I can't even look there because we have children together, we have a life together, we have a relationship and we found our sweet spot. So you were not physically attracted to Christine? That's an understatement. You were grossed out by her? I won't say that, but the nachos grossed me out enough to make me go, okay, I'm waiting. How does it feel to hear yeah, her? This is horrible. It doesn't get any worse than Cody, and that's just the truth. Cody also said that he wasn't attracted to Christine because of how she treated Robin. Tell me you have a favorite wife without telling me you have a favorite wife. Is Robin the favorite wife? You know, that's the most unfair question. Why is her attraction contingent on so many different things? It's not because of Robin. You just said you weren't attracted to her when you married her. Like, what is wrong with this man? And it was also really sad because Christine said that in 30 years, she could count on one hand how many times he told her that she was beautiful. I also thought it was just so disturbing how in this episode, he was acting as though she needed to remain in a marriage where there was no intimacy. And I mean, there's even a clip of Robin saying that she's heard of people being in marriages where there weren't, weren't intimacy. So you can tell where he is getting this information from because Cody and Robin clearly have the same thoughts and opinions. But both of them say that she should stay in a marriage where there's no intimacy because other people have done it. Easy for you to to, to say when you are both getting your rocks off with each other. You know what I mean? It's so sick to me that Cody's like, you should stay here miserable, lonely, no support, no help, no intimacy, and I'm just gonna be over here with Robin and her kids living my best life, and if you don't stay here in this situation, you're doing something wrong. Also, there is this clip that is so disturbing to me where Cody is sitting down with all the wives and he's basically saying that he needs to be the man of his house again and needs to buckle down and asks all of them to conform to patriarchy. If everybody's willing to conform to patriarchy again, I guess, I've been fighting to make everybody happy. My bitterness is out of trying to do that and not having the family that I had 
thought about and designed. Yeah, I didn't know I'd signed up for patriarchy, but that's not what we all agreed on in the very beginning. Nell did sign up for patriarchy. When her and I made an agreement that she would come into the family, she agreed wholeheartedly that she would run her will into mine because I had to be the head of the family. And then there's a clip of Robin being like, I hope everybody's taking what he's saying very seriously. This is just gonna rock us in a very, very hard, hard way if we're not careful, if we're not very, very, very careful. I sure hope everybody's taking it seriously. When Cody was asked if he had a favorite wife during the one-on-one -on -one Sister Wives special, he skirts around the question, but he, in my opinion, confirms this to me, that what he is looking for is a wife that will do what he says, what he wants, when he wants it. And Robin is obviously doing that for him, and that's obviously why she's the favorite wife. He wants to feel like a man, so he's gonna go and surround himself with women that do and say and think whatever he wants them to do and say and think so that he can feel better about himself. And I really think that we need to discuss why this statement from Cody is so dangerous to the women who are married to him. Well, now woman that is married to him. He wants his relationships to be where he is the head, where he's number one, where opportunity is withheld from women. This is usually where men are the ones that make the decisions. Maybe a woman can share her opinion, but he's gonna be the one that gets to decide. He wants to be the leader of the family and he wants to control the family. And you can see in this show that when he doesn't have control, that's when he unravels. I don't think that he's as upset about his wives leaving him as he is as upset at the fact that he didn't make these decisions on his own. He is asking for a relationship where the wives submit to him. This isn't really surprising considering he is Mormon and this is what they believe and this is how they want things to be. And this is why he probably wanted to live in plural marriage to begin with because to him it sounded like more wives to control, more children to control, a family that he could control. He probably thought that he was hitting the jackpot by just collecting multiple wives that he didn't even love or find attractive, making children with them. It all started to fall apart when some of his wives found their independence and he didn't seem to like that very much. He has spelled it out very clearly that Robin is his favorite wife because he feels like he can have some sense of control in her household. I also have this theory that the reason why Robin always talks about how she doesn't want Cody to leave any of his other wives and stuff like that and she wants everybody to be a family, which I mean, does she really? I don't know. But if that's the truth, I would think that that'd probably be because she is aware that if all of his other wives leave him and he wants to still li live in polygamy and you know they believe in climbing the stairway up to Jesus with the more wives that they have they get to a higher level of heaven or whatever she knows that if he wants to live in polygamy and all of his wives leave he's gonna have to bring in new wives and he was done Robin was going to be the last one but is she gonna be the last one now that his wives have left everybody judged Christine for being jealous and for being upset for no longer being the last wife and the the last one that was brought into the family. Robin was in a monogamous relationship before she got with Cody and basically is in a monogamous relationship with Cody even after the fact. I have this theory that she doesn't want anybody to leave and she's as upset as she is about everybody leaving because there's a chance she's not going to be the last wife. And I don't think Robin wants to be in Christine's position whenever she was brought into the house. It's all fun and games when you're the new one, when you're the exciting one, but is it going to be all fun and games when she's no longer that, when she's the one that he's been used to and had kids with and this life with for 10 plus years. Is she gonna feel as confident in her relationship with him if he brings other wives in? Now this is where my opinion has slightly changed since I filmed this video because this voiceover is being recorded at a different time from when I filmed it. But since doing a little bit more digging into the most recent stuff that has come out about sister wives, I am starting to feel like Robin really doesn't wanna deal with Cody on her own that maybe she doesn't want him to always be there. I feel like, and I don't wanna assume anything, but just based on what we've seen on the show, he has a temper and I do feel like he does hold it back a little bit for the cameras. He's probably not the most enjoyable person to live with, even though there's probably some truth to the fact that she feels comfortability with the family dynamic that they've had and doesn't want it to change. Maybe she would prefer him to have more wives than it to just be her. And it also brings 
brings up the question of, is he going to continue living in polygamy? Is he going to seek out other wives or is it just going to be Robin? Robin's made multiple comments about how she doesn't want that. But then of course, there's been a lot of people that think that Robin was basically the one that brought down the family because when the whole COVID thing happened, she's the one that made a lot of the rules that prevented him from seeing his other wives. So it's kind of confusing. If you want him to remain in a marriage with these other women, then why did you create rules that made it so that all of their relationships just completely fell apart? Well, I won't put the blame on her completely for their relationships being the way that they are because I do think that it is their individual situation, but her rules with COVID certainly didn't help an already fragile situation. And I will say this, it is a little bit concerning with her remaining in this marriage because of the fact that Cody wants her to conform to patriarchy. He wants to be the man and he's obviously lingering around her because she's making him feel that way. And it's obviously her decision if she wants to remain in a marriage like that, but it's just really sad as an outsider looking in to see somebody just accepting that kind of life. Janelle and Cody have officially announced that they are separated and it was to be expected. I think that a lot of it has to do with Janelle seeing Christine leave and I think it just inspired that, hey, I can do this. None of them really needed him to begin with because they were basically doing everything on their own anyways. It's also sad because Janelle was extremely loyal to Cody throughout their marriage, yet he says that one of the reasons why Robin is essentially his favorite wife, even though he won't say that out loud, but it's because she's loyal to him. Janelle felt like she was loyal. Christine said Janelle was loyal the entire time. It seems like whenever you're not useful to Cody anymore, he will just throw you under the bus. And it's not just about my character, it's about their character. Do you wanna find favor by being loyal to me and never allowing somebody to trash talk me? Or do you wanna sit here and be the one who's trash talking me? Mary, Janelle, and Christine have talked me from the beginning of all of our marriages. Can I just say she doesn't deserve that? Who doesn't deserve that? Janelle. She's so loyal to him, it's ridiculous. I can't tell you all the conversations that I had with her where I'd be like, I don't like how he's doing this and how he's doing this and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, he's a great dad, what are you talking about? He's a great husband, what are you talking about? It's like, it's obvious where you wanna spend your time then. I mean, come on. Loyal, kiss the ring and then we'll be good. Loyal, be loyal to me and then we're good. I thought I'd been loyal and I thought Christine had been loyal but apparently we're not loyal enough or something. You believe that Robin is the favorite? I feel like, and my children feel like, he has been disproportionate in the amount of time that he spends there. I mean, Cody is not only a bad husband, which is the opposite of what you should be if you have four wives. I feel like if you have that many wives, you should be pretty well versed in being a good husband. I mean, you have a, a lot to practice with. Okay. Oh man, Ugh, I cannot believe, I, I cannot believe that I have done all this to save you. I was trying to protect him and I got criticism from you and from my boys, the worst criticism, zero respect. You guys wonder why I'm mad? I was following Ooh, all the nice. CDC guidelines. Cody's acting like I was a COVID denier. I was not a COVID denier. I followed all the CDC rules. I wore a mask, I washed my hands, I was careful. I'm vaccinated for crying out loud. I don't have to stand here and defend myself. This is the same old argument. I don't need to be beaten into submission, kowtow, made to kowtow. I'm just not, I just don't need this. In the last 18 months, I've realized that I'm pretty good. I'm independent and I'm not gonna stand here and be yelled at. I just don't need it. I don't deserve it, I don't need it. Not only is he a crappy husband, but he's also a, a really bad dad. Like he is not a good dad. He didn't even remember how old one of his daughters were. They had an episode where she was having a birthday. He didn't remember her age. So Isabel, you're 18. Albert, this is a birthday slash graduation. Are you right. sweet 17? Uh, I'm almost sweet 18. Oh yeah. This you're... is an 18 party. Yeah, so you're sweet 18. Whee! <laughs> That'll get you a new car. Like imagine seeing your dad pull up to your 18th birthday party, holding the hands of the children of his other wife that is not your mom, and then to confidently believe that it's your 17th birthday when you're 18. Then he makes a comment about how she'll get a car. This is so sad. And I mean, it's clearly obvious that he just loves Robin's kids. 
But what about his own children? I mean, it's very telling that like he doesn't have hardly anything to do with them, but then when they wanna leave, he wants to control where they are. A lot of his adult kids have actually come out and talked about stuff within the family. Gwendolyn has a Patreon page where she talks in depth about things that go on behind the scenes with the family. There's also this clip where Gwendolyn is doing a reaction to one of the Sister Wives episodes. And she makes this comment about how Cody should be putting his children first. And I found this to be interesting and also very sad because it's kind of casually said, but you know that this has to be something that really bothers their children a lot. That's why I have a nanny so that I can have her help me instead of trying to ask Cody to help with the kids. It's not really fair of me to ask him to help when he has so many responsibilities. I mean, to be fair, he's still a father. He's still part of the family. It's hard to see just such a contrast with Cody, how he is at Robin's house versus how he is at my house. He's just disengaged at my house. My kids and I hike all the time. Yeah, it's not actually travel. It's like hanging out as a family. Cody came hiking with us once and he brought Robin's kids because he was babysitting them. It was still fun. It's not normal for me to babysit my kids. The idea of kayaking and stuff like that is not something I really do. I'm good at watching my kids, but I almost never do it. It's easier for me to pay somebody 20 bucks an hour than to lose $200 an hour. But were your children? I feel like that'd be more important than mine. I think instead of Cody yelling at his wives that are leaving him about how they need to be better wives and better sister wives, he just needs to work on being a good husband and a good dad. Instead of pointing the finger at everybody else around him, he should probably start looking within. Like if you have this many people upset at you, you're probably doing something wrong. There are so many instances where Cody and Robin just kind of skirt around the fact that she's his favorite wife. And I'm like, well, now what are you gonna say? Now on the show, Janelle has accused Cody of using her he only ever talked about the house that he was going to be losing when Christine left and there is an episode where Christine offers it to Janelle and you can't help but feel like Cody probably asked her to do that and he was probably extremely mad when she chose to live on an RV on Robin's property instead of this house. All Cody ever talked about was how much he was sad that he was losing this house that Christine had. He loved it. He didn't want to lose it. But it sort of felt like he was using me and my buying power to save this house. I can't afford both house mortgages. I can't buy this house and in any shape or form finance another house, no matter even if it's small. It would be in this home that isn't really one of my favorite homes and it would be where I would be forever. We've been in Flagstaff for four freaking years and I don't have a house. I've been pushing this house of Christine's onto Janelle for a long time and Janelle's like, stop it. I feel like Janelle struggles to respect me. <laughs> if, if you don't respect me, don't bother with the love. It just doesn't work in my world. You and I have been acting like we weren't a married couple for most of our marriage, Janelle. Okay, I'm spitting mad now. Maybe this is not a good fit. Maybe this doesn't work. So, you know, as we all know, like uh, Janelle Brown is a hard worker. She is a realtor. It's been very clear from the beginning that his relationship was with Janelle was more so the money aspect. She was the one that would go out and help pay the bills. And you know he didn't wanna lose that. I mean, back in the day, Christine would actually watch Janelle's children while she went to work. So in the end, it left her feeling extremely used. It's just such an awful thing. I mean, there is a clip on the show where Cody just starts yelling and losing it. I feel like he is just falling apart and all of the dirty laundry that was out before this this, there's just even more now. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And instead of him taking other people's advice and just zipping his mouth, he just keeps saying worse and worse things. And honestly, Robin literally going to remain in a relationship with the man that outright said, conform to patriarchy. Is that what you want to teach your children? Is that what you want to teach your children? Like, honestly, you want to teach your sons to be like Cody and you want to teach your daughters to be with somebody like Cody? That's what you're doing by staying with somebody like that. Now, I have not watched the entire season. So you bet once I watch the entire season, I'm going to have so much more to say about this, but I had to make some comments about the fact that it's just Robin, like Cody, is not in a polygamous situation anymore. If you guys would like to see me do a full review of the newest season of Sister Wives and all my thoughts and feelings and opinions about that, give this video a thumbs up and I will definitely do that. Also, I have just revamped my members content. If you guys would like to check out my tiers and see what I have available, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would join. And also head over to my second channel if you guys would like to have some more chill videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be seeing you soon for another video.